In this lab, we will be separating an unknown substance from its contaminant using a method called recrystallization. First, you will have to determine a solvent that your unknown will work in. At room temperature, the unknown should dissolve partially or not at all. When heated, the unknown should fully dissolve into the same solvent. Test each of the four solvents to determine the best one. It is possible that more than one of them will work. In that case, use your best discretion to choose one. Once you have selected your solvent, you will set up the recrystallization glassware. You will need a test tube, beaker, and a hot plate. To start, you will heat up water in a beaker to create a hot water bath. The water should be gently boiling to start the reaction. Then you will put your solvent in unknown into the test tube and place it in the hot water bath. Add a boiling chip directly to the solution. Swirl the test tube and the heat until the unknown fully dissolves. Remove the mixture from heat and allow it to cool to room temperature. Be careful not to disturb the sample when it is cooling. You don't want to redissolve the crystals. While it is cooling, set up a Hirsch filtration apparatus, like the one in the Wayne and Filtration Lab. Once the mixture has cooled, run it through the filter and use forceps to remove the boiling chip from the solid filtrate. Collect the solid filtrate in a pre-weighed vial and then weigh out the product. Obtain IR and UV vis spectra as well as the melting point. Directions for collecting UV-Vis spectra are both in your lab manual and by the equipment.